Squid Game is the very first show that I've ever watched that I've stopped in the middle, middle of an episode uh, for the night with the plan of continuing to watch this show. Uh, as of writing this, I have 18 minutes left in episode 3 of Squid Game, and I had to throw in the towel. It was 10.30, and I had a really bad feeling in my entire body where just, I was so anxious. Like, the only reason I decided to watch this show again after, it, it gave me a severe panic attack. Uh, I, that's an exaggeration, not a severe panic attack. More like um, a very strong physical and emotional reaction to the first episode. This behind me is actually the only reason why I'm giving another chance. is because I saw most uh, critical made a video called Roblox Squid Game, and I watched the first minute, which was uh, all about, like, the first episode. And it was funny, and it and it helped kind of, you know, make it feel a little less real. Now, if you haven't seen this show, spoilers, okay? Go watch the show, uh, you know, viewer discretion advised. Um, but, yeah, so go do that before, <laughs> before listening to this, because I will be, uh, you know, giving away some stuff. But, um... But yeah, I've, I've had really bad freakouts uh, and dark things recent to, to dark things recently, and every nerve in my body was honestly screaming for me to stop watching the series after the first episode. Um, and a lot of that comes down to not just the fact this show is intense, but it's very well written. It's very well made. Everything about it feels very deliberate, including the gut-wrenching feelings that that it's that it's made me feel it, it is honestly one of the most intense things I've ever watched it's rare that I've felt like at the same time like so excited to watch something and at the same time so like um, so eager to shut it off as this but yeah I, I'll go a little bit more into my freak out because it has a lot to do with that and my initial reaction to the first episode was was pretty negative on me. Um, <laughs> I'll start by saying... <coughs> um, I really let my guard down with this show. Unfortunately for me, this show is, um, is absolutely amazing at luring the viewer into a false sense of security. Uh, something I struggle with greatly due to having a really bad disassociative episode... Um, that I'm still recovering from nearly a year, almost a year afterwards, um, with therapy. It's like, I, I really struggle with things that make you feel safe, that turn really dark instantly. And a big part of this was, again, the disassociative episode I had. I had it while watching The Good Place almost a year ago. Uh, which is a fucking comedy show that I've watched over the part that really freaked me out like a couple of times now and like it's fine I'm, I'm getting over it but there was for some reason this one scene that resembled one of my deepest darkest nightmares that I've just never really resolved something with loud screeching noises the thought of hell everything combined just something about feeling safe to instantaneously going into this feeling of fear fucked me up really bad to where I felt like I couldn't trust my own head. And so, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to talk about because I mean, I look back now, I'm, I'm grateful that I've managed to make as much progress as I have because it's so, it's so fucked. So, yeah, my point being, I do reaction videos because I'm very susceptible to media. I'm, I'm very sensitive and things leave a very big impression on me. Um, I would forget about 90% of the things that uh, people would tell me. But then, you know, I'd hear a song after four years of not hearing it, and I could tell you the time, the place, you know, what I was doing when I first heard that song. And then the second time I heard this song, 
and stuff like that. It's almost like it left more of an impression on me than things in the real world. Which is why I've always avoided stuff that's like horror. For that exact reason. It's because I don't do very well with um, with thrill and and anxiety that turns into genuine terror. I went into episode one of Squid Game not knowing much, but honestly it didn't really matter. Um, the show is really fucking good. It's brilliant. Um it is brilliant at luring, luring the uh, viewer into caring about these really scummy characters. About these people who really deserve to be in the spot that they're in. Um, and I was really enjoying the show until the first game happened. Which, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of tell something was going to go wrong. But what really got me was the di- the direction they took. Because there's something a lot more realistic about seeing people... Running in fear. (sighs) Like. I don't do well with the thought of pure hell. Which to me was seeing people in their most primal stages running. As they sense danger only to be gunned down like cattle. That scene stuck with me. Because it doesn't matter if it's fake. Tina was trying to comfort me. Uh, Tina, my fiance, she was comforting me by saying, it isn't real, it's okay. But my brain honestly doesn't work like that. For the same reason, it, it got really fucked up at one time. It's because I, some, when I'm scared, I can barely trust myself. And it's really hard. I'm sad, but I've also made so much progress. Like, I come to you as someone who is able to talk about this because, yeah, while I'm still fighting, I've actually been putting in a hell of a fight. And I feel a lot better about myself. Yeah, so I'm really sensitive. Um, I struggle to digest these really intense emotions. So after watching the first episode, it took me about three days to be okay with continuing, and I decided on a split decision to continue the show. I'm really glad, (laughs) I'm so sorry about the coughing. (coughs) I'm really glad that I continued the show, because the second episode was honestly like a 10 out of 10, some of the best writing possible, really amazing at showing the like weight of these people's situations. I was not expecting at all for them to go home, like... But the fact that the show is like, they know the danger, but honestly, the real world is worse, and the chance of having a new, like, life, it's not something they can just forget. And it's like their their, um, need for, you know, wealth, which, again, they they fucking, these people believe that money is going to solve every issue, when I, it is not, okay? Some of those people... You could probably pass the check over and they'd still get killed immediately afterwards. You know what I mean? But still, anyways, the journey's amazing. And the fact that these people voluntarily went back, I think, is genius. Like, there is so many things about the show that I would say are just pure genius. Something that I'm still blown away by, that I'm still, like, really impressed by. And it's these things that keep me feeling alright, even when I get really freaked out. Because... That, it's stuff like that that really helps remind me that, you know, oh, yeah, well, first of all, it's, I mean, it is a show, but it's innovative, it's interesting, but it's something I admire, you know? Um, yeah, so, the realistic nature of the second episode, I think, is like, there's there's just so many underlying morals to this show. On top of that, the lady who's, oh, again, Spoilers. You should you should have left by now if you're not expecting spoilers. Lady who snuck in the knife, fucking crazy, okay? But more crazy, the guy who infiltrated the entire place. Dude, there is so much happening. And this show is so good at just, like, giving you the stuff that you didn't know you wanted. But, like, the most insane, high-stakes, thrilling way. Which is, again, why I had to stop the third episode. The third episode... 
was very much like the first episode where I felt like um, in the first episode, if you ever seen that experiment where they have like the gelatin hand and the real hand and then they like brush both at the same time and they smash the gelatin one with the hammer, that's me. I'm the guy whose hand was rubbed with the brush because the writing's really good. It, they, they make me care about these characters. It feels really impossible not to. So I just know some shit's about to go down and I know I'm going to have to really deal with some crazy heavy emotions. And so that's why I threw in the towel tonight and instead did this, reflecting on what I saw, reflect on how I feel, so that when I am ready to reapproach it, um... One, I have um, something tying me back to the real world, these reviews, to come back to, to help remind me, okay, things are okay, I'm not in any real danger, you know, this is something that I'm watching to, you know, to, to make some media out of. And mostly, again, just to kind of help me uh, come back down to earth if I, if I do get a little too freaked out. Um, but on top of that, I'm processing what I saw so that it's not just too much to bear and the anxiety doesn't take me over because there is so much outside of the action that I think is just amazing. And the first episode, I was, I, I lost a lot of what was amazing about the first episode because I got so scared. And that's why I wanted to stop tonight too, is so that I can really understand what I saw before some shit goes down. And I'm really happy that I stopped. Uh, on top of that, it's really hard to, to watch this show and like, I feel like I'm constantly split because I've heard people say it gets worse and like, like, you know what I mean? It's like after how bad I felt with the first episode, I'm like the thought of it getting worse is almost unreal to me. But yeah, third episode was also really good. Just again, the stakes are insanely high. They're building so many relationships, which you just know is going to go poorly, which also fucks me up too much. Hey, yeah, that's that's what I'd say about this show. I'd give it so far a um, reluctant nine out of ten. As I, I honestly don't see anything wrong really with the show except for a couple of times where I thought that there was like some a little too obvious of exposition. But it is undeniable that this is one of the most like th this is this show is a fucking thrill ride, truly, and. A lot of the parts I really like about it are some, some of the same reasons I, I loved, like, Breaking Bad. It's not just, like, the action. It's the consequence. The consequence of the, of the action is unbelievably high. Which is why it feels so real and raw. And, yeah, all right. Anyways, it's been 13 minutes of rambling. We're going to finish watching the episode tomorrow. Um, don't fucking spoil, I swear to God, if there's a single goddamn spoiler, I will, I will go squid game on the chat, okay? And you're all losers, okay? Alright? Alright. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good rest of your night. Peace out.